What YouTube creator can resist the goodbye thumbnail? I mean, it's basically free clicks. I should do this more often, like goodbye chicken. <laughs> Don't get too excited. You can't get rid of me that quickly. <laughs> what we're saying goodbye to today are my cabinets, counters and backsplash. I'm heading into the dangerous Bermuda Triangle of the kitchen remodel in the era of COVID. No one seems to emerge from these murky waters. People start projects that should be done in a month or two, but a year later, the project is still going on. Yes, it's scary. But we've taken all possible precautions to make sure things go smoothly. We've waited until everything to the very last doorknob has been delivered. So we are as ready as we'll ever be. A lot of amazing things happened in this kitchen. This is where my YouTube channel was born. And I thought it would be nice to record what my kitchen looked like all these years. Here it is. Uh, we've moved into this house 13 years ago. The kitchen is one of the main reasons we bought it. We didn't do much to it. We did put in a stove and a hood, but that's it. So what exactly are we doing? Primarily the changes are cosmetic. I love the layout of my kitchen. We're keeping all the walls, windows and plumbing in place. We're even keeping some appliances. The stove, the hood and the fridge are staying. We are getting new cabinets that will be laid out almost like my current ones, but some of the doors will be replaced with drawers and we'll shift things a little here and there to make sure I can actually open my drawers. <laughs> we'll finally have normal height counters, which means that we can put in a normal sized dishwasher. Our current counters are lower than standard, so my dishwasher is extra short. Lighting is another big upgrade. Many of my counters are very dark because I have no under cabinet lighting and our ceiling lighting is a bit spotty. We don't yet know if we can add more ceiling lights. We'll see what our contractor says when he opens things up, but we'll definitely add under cabinet lighting. Of course, all this means that I will lose the kitchen for some unknown amount of time. I'm terrified. I haven't been without the kitchen since the sophomore year of college. Everyone keeps telling me about grills, toaster ovens and instant pots. Guys, the heat is not the problem. The problem is the sink. The only sink where I can reasonably do dishes is my laundry room sink and that's all the way across the house. I'm not sure where they'll put my fridge, but I'm guessing in the dining room, which is as far from the laundry room as you can get. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Once I settle into some sort of routine, I'll try to make some videos for you of how I'm cooking without the kitchen. I'm also using this kitchenless opportunity to try cooking on other types of stoves in other people's homes. So if you've been asking me questions about gas versus electric versus induction, I'll finally have a video about that. I hope you have a wonderful summer and I'll see you soon with an update. Bye bye.